Hi, I'm Nate, and this is Photo Learning Museum. Thanks for joining in tonight. Wanted to do a forked version of raw therapy. It's called Art. Could be really amazing. Let's dig into it. Okay, so once again, my name is Nate, and this is Photo Learningism. Thank you so much for joining in. I do a lot of work on this channel to build a community of learning to surface the valuable art technologies that I feel like would be a contribution to your way of doing things and my way of doing things. I'm hoping it's helpful that it's surfacing out the really useful features and tools that may not be clear or apparent out there on the internet. I mostly do open source, but I do compare against commercial products just to kind of get some balance of what's being developed commercially versus in the open source community. There's a lot of exciting things going on on both ends of the fence. So please don't hesitate to go back and watch the other videos and join the conversation and leave comments and help each other because that's what this is about, right? So, art. I've done videos before. I've done comparisons on raw therapy. It's very similar to Dark Table. It is a tonal and photo alteration and adjustment tool that pairs very nicely with GIMP and other things as a raw loader. Uh, this particular one is a forked version of raw therapy called art. If you're not familiar with forking, that is a concept of taking the source code of a core product and then deviating off of the, the main build and making your own edition of it. So hence we have art, which is a split off of raw therapy. Now, I did go read through the release notes of this and it makes some notes about the, the raw formats that it does support. In many ways, it just says try raw therapy to see if the raw loader works and if it does, it'll work here. So if, you, if you've been using raw therapy, you want to try art, there's not much fear in, in kind of porting over if this looks like a favorable thing for you to try out. Otherwise, they did say that they support the Pentax and Sony and Canon uh, raw formats specifically. It may do others, but they didn't design it specifically to do that. Now I can attest that it does work with NEFs, which are Nikon raw format. Um, so it does seem to cover at least the major playing field for raw formats. So now that we got that out of the way, let's look at the tool here. The one thing I really wanted to point out here, because again, if you've used raw therapy, if you use dark table, there's no point in me covering all the features because it's it's a fork. It's it's based on the same core products. So there's n the same core things you'd expect that are there are here as well. They mentioned that they have made some adjustments to the interface to make it a little clearer, but otherwise, it's very similar. The one one big big thing though that I noticed, which is pretty cool, and I only know about this because somebody in the community surfaced this out. I wish I could remember the, your call sign right now. I would shout it out. But thank you so much for surfacing art because this version, this split off version of raw therapy supports masking, which raw therapy in itself does not. Now you can find masking features in Darktable, but it's still kind of up and coming in the raw therapy build, but somebody went through the effort of putting it in, in this forked version called art. And I was playing around with it a little bit and it is functional it does work the controls are intuitive and easy to kind of get your way through and set off sections uh, right now i'm doing a contrast mask which is you can kind of see the effects of that as i move this around the image and again this is really cool it's in this new section here which is not in raw therapy it's called local editing which is a new area and as you dig through these sections there's color there's specific channel editing all kinds of stuff here. You'll notice the accompanying mask section on the tail end of each of them, which gives you this control to apply and edit, but then also mask off the sections that you want to touch up on too. So it's that much more powerful based on the raw therapy approach, which is really, really innovative. And I do hope that they, when I say they, I mean the development team for raw therapy kind of look at this and they talk to the the uh, developer for art and the merge efforts a little bit because this is a fantastic new addition to raw therapy in and of itself it is a very powerful tool but this would be a nice complement to the core build so go check it out art i will put a download link to this in the description below it wasn't that easy to find um, but for your benefit i will put it out there and it does support windows and linux those are the only platforms i'm aware of right now that it runs on sorry mac <laughs> um but um Maybe someday, <laughs> we'll see. But definitely go check it out. 
Again, this is Photo Learningism. I'm Nate. Please do give me a thumbs up if this was helpful and informative for you. Please subscribe and let me know if this was helpful for you. And don't hesitate again to join the conversation, to leave friendly, friendly comments and help each other along the way here. And also continue to surface the tools that you find valuable that are in line with what we're trying to do. We're looking for the art technologies that are valuable to the learning community. So thank you so much for joining in. I'll see you next time.